Welcome to Chinuch Bebeit number eight. Question, how do we talk to our children about death and tragedy? Rahman al It's local, it's global. How do we explain? So I'm going to share with you a marshal really from Chazal, where a king, through his love for his uh, subjects, invites them to his treasury. And he gives them 70 days, 80 days, some 120 days to fill up their sacks with as many diamonds and jewels and rubies, gold, silver, as they can fill their sacks with. And, and even if they finish a whole sack, they're given another sack, as long as they're still in the treasury. And then the moment their time is up, they have to leave and they can take their treasures home. So the nimshal, the meaning of this is very simple. Hashem put us into Olam Hazer, Olam Adimim, Olam Hasheker, Olam Hazer is for about 120 years. Okay, some get 80, 90, whatever it is. But in that time, we have the opportunity to fill our sacks for the going home journey where we originally came from, Olam HaEmes, with the Torah Mitzvahs, which will gain us eternity and will decide the quality of our eternity. So the, the right way to look at death is that Hashem wants us to live in order to die physically, but to go into Gan Eden with all our mitzvahs. And that's a very simple way to explain to our children. If you need it to be a little bit more sophisticated, then tell them the Torah is reality, and the Torah used the word Chayim, Unfortunately, we mistranslate it innocently as life, and there actually is no word in Lashon Kodesh for life. Chai is an adjective, it means alive, so it's not the singular version of Chaim. Chaim means lives. There is no word for life because there couldn't be, since this language created reality. So the word Chaim means lives because there's Olam Hazer and Olam Haba. There's Olam Hadimian, Olam HaSheker, and there's Olam HaEmes. And so the, the right way to look at life is that there's two dimensions, and in the second dimension, that's forever. So uh, just to explain this, uh, one last point is the following, and that is um, the Torah, when it describes to the, the, the creation of Adam, it says, Vayitzer Hashem Elohim Adam afar min Adama, afar min Adama, his body came from the ground. Vayipach ba'apav, and Hashem blew into his nostrils, nishmat chayim, a soul of lives, meaning it's a soul that exists in every dimension, olam hazeh, olam ha'emes. When Hashem says to Adam, you're going to return to the ground when he gives him his klala. In Perak Gimel, Pasuk Yutes, he says, Ki afa ata vel afa tashuv. You are afa and you're going to go back to the ground. But Hashem doesn't say anything about neshama for the simple reason that neshama goes back to Hashem. And neshama is indestructible. So you can tell your children, the truth is the real you is not your body, it's your neshama. And you, the real you, never dies. The concept of death is is pure temporary life, <laughs> temporary death. It's a short vacation because in comparison to eternity, it's forever. So in the tragedy, no taking away, in the tragedy of the loss of a person, the Torah's understanding is that it's a loss for us because we don't have them in our lives anymore. But in terms of themselves, they're potter niftar, they're potter from mitzvahs, chafshi mina mitzvahs, but they're taking with them the sack of mitzvahs that they collected in their lifetime. And that's why Safik Pekuach Nefesh and Pekuach Nefesh overrides every single mitzvah in the Torah except for three. And the simple reason why is because we treasure every moment in the treasury of the king collecting mitzvahs and even when people say to Hillam and, and do mitzvahs for someone who's ill all that is accrued to the credit of that person so in that sense there's only good and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when he will return everybody who's passed away that's when Bila Hamavis Lanetzach Hashem will swallow death forever Umacha Hashem dim'a me'al kol panim. Hashem will remove the tears of sorrow from the faces of every single person. The only tears we will have in the future are tears of joy. So, 
Chayim really means lives, and death is temporary. And we're looking forward to Tchias Amesim coming soon in a cemetery near you. Hold on tight.